UK to shun EU coronavirus vaccine purchase plan. The UK on Friday turned down the chance to join a multi-billion euro EU plan to secure supplies of potential coronavirus vaccines after concluding its conditions were unfavorable. Boris Johnson's government made the decision after talks with the European Commission suggested London would be unable to take part in the plan's governance or negotiating team, according to a letter published late on Friday. The UK's potential entry to the scheme was a test of the possibilities for emergency cooperation with the EU at a time when talks over their wider post-Brexit relationship are tense. The negotiations came as an international battle escalates among rich countries to buy up coronavirus remedies, often long before their effectiveness has been confirmed. The UK government decided on this occasion not to join the EU plan because London would not have had any say in which vaccines to procure, at what price or in what quantity and to what delivery schedule, British officials said. We would not be able to negotiate with a company the Commission is negotiating with, said one. We would have to stop our own negotiations if the EU started negotiating with a manufacturer we were already negotiating with. The UK government insisted that it was still open to strengthening its collaboration with the EU on vaccines outside the framework. In a letter confirming the decision, released on Friday afternoon, the UK's ambassador to the EU said this could include sharing of information on promising vaccine candidates, negotiations with vaccine manufacturers, vaccine trials, manufacturing investment and capacity building, mitigations to supply chain bottlenecks, and other delivery risks such as global trade disruptions. Earlier the Commission said it had not received any formal notification from the UK of a decision not to join the vaccine initiative. It declined to comment on details of its discussions with London. The EU announced last month that it would use a 2.7 billion euros emergency fund, with the possibility of additional money, to strike advance purchase agreements with drug companies for promising vaccine candidates from among scores being developed worldwide. The UK was invited to participate under the Brexit Withdrawal Agreement, in force since it left the bloc in January, which gives London the obligation to finance and the right to be involved in all projects under the bloc's 2014-2020 budget. The US has already poured billions of dollars into COVID-19 vaccine development and purchased much of the world's supply of remdesivir, a coronavirus treatment produced by the U.S. pharmaceuticals group Gilead. The Commission's vaccine plan has yet to complete its first deal, despite holding weeks of talks with Johnson & Johnson of the U.S. Germany, France, the Netherlands and Italy announced last month they had agreed to buy up to 400 meters vaccine doses from AstraZeneca. A purchase officials say is now being folded into the bloc's wider vaccine initiative. The UK and US have done their own bilateral vaccine deals with AstraZeneca. John Bell, the Regius Professor of Medicine at Oxford University, who is working on the development of a COVID-19 vaccine in partnership with AstraZeneca, said he thought the government's decision to shun the EU vaccine initiative was sensible. We've got a very, very coherent and good vaccine plan, he said. I think we're way ahead of Europe in the way we think about vaccines so I can understand why the government may have wanted to work with other groups of countries more. Sir John added that negotiations between the Oxford Consortium and the quartet of EU countries had taken forever while similar talks with the US had reached agreement in about a weekend, raising concerns about delays caused by negotiating on bloc. Supporters of the EU vaccine effort point to the potential negotiating power of working as a group to secure deals with a range of companies at good prices. The growing push by high-income countries to buy up vaccine doses has raised fears that poorer countries will be squeezed out. The European Commission has insisted the EU effort will make provision for them, arguing that no one is safe until everyone is safe. The UK and other non-EU countries are among donors to a Brussels-led pledging effort that has raised almost 16 billion euros for equitable worldwide provision of coronavirus vaccines, testing and treatment. 
Alex Harris, head of global policy at Wellcome, the health charity, urged the UK government to act collaboratively and engage with other multilateral efforts to secure and distribute a vaccine. He said the EU vaccine initiative's cap on how many doses participating countries received was the best way to ensure there would be enough vaccine for those in need in the rest of the world. We urge the UK government to follow the EU's lead and only secure vaccine doses for those who need it most, healthcare workers, over 65s and other vulnerable groups, he said. This is critical for the first six to nine months of early vaccine availability, when global manufacturing capacity is unlikely to match demand. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.